Arlene Keanu is in Charleston, South Carolina, where former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg is speaking with voters now. So, Elaine, uh, I know you spoke with people before the event. What were they telling you? So it's interesting here in Charleston, a lot of voters that I spoke with say they are still very much open at this point that even though the primary here in South Carolina is just hours away, they're still at this late stage in the game taking their measure of all the candidates, including former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg. Now, the line started early here in Charleston to see the former mayor at this town hall, a line that included hundreds of people trying to secure their spot for this town hall that just wrapped up. One woman told me that she is leaning towards supporting Pete Buttigieg over former Vice President Joe Biden because she said while she does value and respect experience in politics, she feels that it is time to have some fresh ideas in the Democratic Party. Let's listen to some he of that. He was very good under Obama, okay, but I watched him in the Senate. He was a very effective senator, but I think this it's time now to do some Updating at the update, um, he would be an off, awesome advisor, but I don't really feel him as president anymore. Even though Congressman Clyburn in that emotional Clyburn, I enjoy, I love Clyburn, but everybody has to one day retire and get new blood in, and we need a whole new regime right now for a lot of different reasons. So well, that was really interesting to hear her say that. You asked her specifically about Congressman Clyburn and uh, his endorsement of the former vice president um, because he's known as a kingmaker, as you know, in the state. Uh, you also spoke with voters about uh, what issues are most important to them. So I want to play a little bit of that. Okay. Things more along the lines of social and economic issues. So I put in a, a question today that maybe he'll read about the Second Amendment and his stance on it. Uh, but other things like health care, education. I haven't heard much about education, and I do want to become a teacher. I want to be an English professor. So uh, education at the top of the list for a lot of people. Uh, what other issues did they bring up? Yeah, so interestingly, uh, immigration came up, climate change, and one voter that I spoke with who is waiting in line told me that he has actually studied quite closely former Mayor Buttigieg's Douglas plan. That is a plan to help boost black empowerment, and he said he likes those policy proposals. I asked this particular voter who happened to be African American about the criticism that Buttigieg has received about his record during his time in South Bend as mayor when it comes to uh, racial justice issues. This man said, look, I'm familiar with those issues. I'm well aware of them, but I'm also well aware of how it is that Buttigieg has addressed them. I feel as though he understands that there were mistakes that happened, and that meant a lot to him to hear an acknowledgement of that. And because of that, Vlad, really interesting, that expression of sort of regret uh, makes him very much lean towards Buttigieg, although he did say there's a, a chance he could go another way tomorrow. He wasn't 100 percent there, um, but it was fascinating to listen to his uh, criteria as he really kind of looked at each and every one of the candidates. He came away, at least he's coming away, at this moment, just hours away from the primary, thinking that Buttigieg, for him, would most uh, kind of address those issues that are important to him. Mm. Yeah, and it's interesting uh, that you were able to get that um, that sentiment from that voter because, as you know, Mayor Pete has struggled with African-American voters, uh, not just in South Carolina, but across the uh, uh, the other states that he's been campaigning in. So it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. Elaine, I hope you and your crew, you guys have been there. I was able to get out of there after the debate. You guys have been there all week long. You're going to be there until uh, the primary. If there's one thing I could say, I hope you guys get a chance to eat some she crab soup. I ate like 10 bowls in just three days, <laughs> and I'm certainly paying for it now, but it was really good. Okay, I'm putting that on the list, Lab. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> see you soon, Elaine. Uh, and don't forget, we have full coverage from South Carolina today as candidates make their final pitches to voters. And tomorrow, our special coverage from the Palmetto State begins at midday. We will have a team of correspondents and analysts on hand to bring you everything you need to know from the first in the South primary that will all be led by Elaine Keanu.